Sharon et al. 2007, aimed to determine the potential role of biological factors on flashbulb memories. Method. This case study was conducted three years after the 9-11 terror attacks on Manhattan. The sample was made up of 24 participants who were in New York on the day. Participants were placed into an fMRI machine and presented with a word on the screen. In addition to these cues, the word summer or September was projected in the corner, and participants had to recall the events of the summer holidays or the events of 9-11. Their brain activity was monitored while they recorded the event. These memories of personal events served as a baseline for brain activity to assess the nature of 9-11 memories. After the scanning session, participants were asked to rate their memories and provide a written description. Only about half the participants actually reported having flashbulb memories of the event. Those that did report having them were also closer to the World Trade Center on the day. The activation of the amygdala for the participants nearer to the disaster was higher than the others, and it was higher in the memories of 9-11 were recalled compared to some events. These parts of the results show that the strength of the amygdala activation was found to correlate with flashbulb memory occurrences. And since it is a fear response, this demonstrates that there is a biological component of flashbulb memories. Conclusion. This research suggests that a close personal experience may be critical in engaging the neural mechanisms that produce vivid memories characteristic of a flashbulb memory.